Hi, welcome to the three minute lesson on vitamin A. At the end, you should be able to name the active forms of vitamin A and their physiological role, list its dietary sources and functions, and list the clinical features of vitamin A deficiency. There are two major chemical forms of vitamin A in diet carotenoids and retinoids. Carotenoids are provitamins and need to be converted to active forms, the retinoids. Carotenoids are primarily available from plant sources, while retinoids are from animal sources. There are three functional retinoids in the body and each has its distinct physiological role. Retinol, the alcohol form, is the major form of vitamin A in circulation and is carried by retinol binding protein. The ester form of retinol is stored in stellate cells of liver for future use. Retinol, the aldehyde form, is the light sensing pigment in eye. Retinoic acid, the acid form, acts on nuclear receptors and affects gene expression. The major role of vitamin A is in eye as the light sensing pigment in cells of retina. The binding protein for vitamin A is called opsin present in both rods and cone cells. The form of vitamin A here is 11 cis retinal. In rod cells, the protein is called rhodopsin while in cone cells, it's called conopsin. The events that take place after rhodopsin gets activated by light are called Wall's visual cycle. When light falls on retina, the energy from photons converts 11 cis retinal to all trans retinal. This activates rhodopsin and leads to conversion to several intermediates. In the end, opsin and all trans retinal are released. This sequence of events is important to activate signal inside the rod cells, which are transmitted to neurons and the brain. The all trans retinal can be converted back to its cis form and combined with opsin to regenerate rhodopsin for its next cycle. The other functions of vitamin A are due to its actions at the genetic level. There are two receptors for vitamin A in DNA, RAR and RXR receptors. Some of the cells which contain receptors for vitamin A are epithelial cells, immune cells, embryonic cells, gonadal cells, neurons and bone cells. In each of these, vitamin A plays important roles to regulate their growth and development. Vitamin A deficiency is the leading cause of preventable blindness worldwide. Some of the causes for deficiency are severe malnutrition, fat malabsorption, and chronic liver diseases. The deficiency of vitamin A primarily affects the eye, and the disorder is called xerophthalmia. Due to lack of rhodopsin, it affects vision in low lights, and hence night blindness, also called nyctalopia. Due to, due to its role in epithelium, when it's deficient, the tear secretion and cornea and conjunctiva are affected, leading to dryness, ulceration, and eventually permanent blindness. Vitamin A supplementation is also part of a national health program and has drastically decreased the incidence of xerophthalmia. That brings us to the end. Thanks for watching.